game two and again I feel excited I'm very I'm gonna be very entertained I'm sure I'm sure the crowd will be too go through the uh, the plays in the draft John and what the hell's going on here who sees well there is a bit of a trialing going on at the top and they are actually jumping onto ninja boogie at the moment but the Night Stalker is not an easy kill, and he has some pretty darn big regen at the start. So he'll be perfect. Bonus damage being 36% at max level is quite a high. It looks like they will find a kill at the top lane onto Cuckoo, but they do get jabs and a beautiful little stun coming out from the next assassin. And stun and hope for a kill, like while there's two other heroes around, it's probably not gonna work out. Yeah, definitely so they need a lot more level speed to make this work out for. They do try and go on Ninja Boogie, but a quick TP away slow down Sam H. In fact, they do throw in Cuckoo on the Rubik onto Ice Ice Ice. He does come in with three creeps though, and he will be able to net up Sam H for a while right now. And it looks like they will come in for a gank, and well, Sam H trying to back off, but there's another net available. He did bait out that TP from Ice Ice Ice, and Sam H should just end up dropping here, and he will. Ninja Which lane is successful here? Well, they're going on Cuckoo again, and this should be a fairly easy kill for that. And they will even use the Chen ulti to make sure he wants to dive again. Sam H now should see him, but, well, the troll's gonna go in. They do start off with the slow, and the penitence comes in. Sam H sticking around the tier two, understanding that's his best shot of surviving, and he might go for Ninja Boogie and might find the kill of that, and he will. Nice rotation coming up from TNC to find the return. They will be able to defend that tier two and force them to go back. In fact, no, a nice little glimpse onto Raven. But it does allow the rest of Mineski to get the hell out immediately. And they do end up losing the Night Stalker, but he's already found the amount of kills he needed for his first night. Like, two kills is pretty substantial. And not to mention two assists at that. So he'll be very happy with himself. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's had a good start to the night time, and right now he can just take it easy for the next. Well, they're really not leaving Sam H alone. They go for him again at the top lane now. I'm too long. Like, the Mineski draft is way more mid orientated. They are going to go for a gank onto Sam H. The Spirit Siphon is there. It was the Static Storm, but can they take him down? It looks like they can't. The Exorcism has been committed, though, and they'll go for the T1 mid again. It's just really good early. Sam H, he's actually going to get caught out. The Glimpse is there. The Medic Field as well. The, the, the double Hadoukens come out, and they take him out. Lord Night Stalker, going to get Astrid up. Can they find the stun and you know, really take him out? They probably should be able to. It's fairly easy and he will go down. So TNT do get some spike and that's a very easy kill to get. In fact, no, they'll go after the Night Stalker and there is Mushi there though. He was infested and Cuckoo, he's in big trouble. He will end up dropping. Mind you, they do get the disruption in the back line as well. And now he's going to try and fight kills with Sam H has joined in. This might be too much for Mushi to deal with. He might, he might have to make a run for this, although there is a rotation coming in. It looks like Moon wants to help out. The sun actually ended up missing onto him as well. Sam H. Well, he will be in trouble. The armor clock is perfect for Mushi, and he will get that kill. We sit at a 6-8 to eight now. The net worth trade for this, although, again, the chain creeps. They're being very frustrating right now. And they're actually going to find what looks like Sam H again, and well, he can't really do anything about this. When you've got Mushi on... So many objectives, and it's just going to get bigger from here. Mid lane, they did miss the stake storm, but the Gimp stack will get him. Can they do all the damage onto Raven? It looks like they can. There was a rotation attempt from Armel, but it wasn't really there. Now he cancelled, and now Cuckoo's left alone. They do try to go for the silence for Cuckoo. He should just drop very easily here. The stun. And now they Spirit Siphon, and they want to follow up. Tims, he does end up force staffing away. In fact, that was the OD forcing that to happen. But now the drum is being used, and it looks like... Actually, Ninja Boogie is trying a lot of vision right now. They're going to go straight for the OD, and it looks like Armel can't really do anything about this. He astrals himself. Meanwhile, Ice Ice being chased by Sam H, but he's still not dead. Now the Sanity doesn't kill him either. And Ice Ice is just going to make a run for it right now. Sam H can't catch up. Meanwhile, it looks like Moon actually found Raven. No hero is yeah. really around to help him out either. Yeah, he does spot it out, but I don't think Tim's has enough to solo kill, although he does have backup now. Well, they do go in, Sam H now trying to join in, but look at the rotations. Here comes the Disruptor, now the Avalanche toss, is it enough? Where's the heal? It is there just in time, and Sam H trying to TP out now, but the Glimpse is available, and they do get him. They didn't even need the Glimpse, they just used the net. The call down, meanwhile, Ice 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 again, he's juking around everyone, and he will just walk out of there successfully. I mean, he's just so good at baiting teams into trying to get him. Like, it's not... It's
who now has a BKB, mind you. It could be really bad, but they're going to initiate right now. The Exorcism is there. Mushi hitting up onto Cuckoo, who actually stole the Exorcism, but he's gone now. The Static Storm was also got on the OD. The cooldown is there, but it's not really going to be enough. Raven has BKB and is trying his best. Moon is still tanking through all this with the Spirit Siphons, and he's going to take down Armel. He does Astral himself up, but he's stuck. He's going absolutely nowhere. In fact, no beautiful blink comes out from him. They know where he is, though. Can they make the chase? Ninja Boogie being blocked a bit, but he will continue. In fact, no, apparently he'll just let it go. TNC right now, but Maneski aren't giving anything away. They rotate a million and they find Tim's. Now, Kuku was actually there with the Infest, I believe, but it's not going to be enough. Kuku will just give his own life away. The cooldown is there, but Raven, he's pretty much by himself. Armel just full stops out, and Raven is gone. Now the glimpse back and Armel, well he shouldn't have gone, they do end up getting the kill onto the Disruptor at the least. But, this is much much bigger of a deal when Armel will end up dropping and Mushi finds himself a triple kill. 